What's up guys? I am in Cerrillos, a small town, a small mining town northeast of Albuquerque by just about 30 to 40 miles. We're on the old Turquoise Trail, which is like a backcountry little connector between Albuquerque and Santa Fe, the capital of New Mexico. Today we're gonna walk around Cerrillos, super small little cool mining town, and we're gonna walk around Madrid. Uh, it's how we say Madrid here in New Mexico. Um, another cool little town with lots of funky history, super hippie town. So let's check out the back country of Nuevo Mexico. New Mexico being on the frontier uh, was very much a center for these kind of frontier business activities, which includes mining, agriculture, and most importantly, what would come in on the railroad. So here you have kind of all these old machines that they once used to plow the soil to take things like ore or turquoise or whatever else they were pulling out of the ground here to Albuquerque, to Santa Fe, to be sold to different parts of the other frontier country. There's my mom. Company from Oakland, actually made in Belleville, Illinois. Very, very confusing Oakland company. Hello. In the center of Cerrillos, you'll find a beautiful old church from 1922. The city only has three streets. First street, second street, third street, and then three, three cross streets. River Street, Waldo Street, and I didn't see the last street, but these cities, these mining towns, these agricultural towns, the frontier towns, it was all about taking your family from the East Coast, from Europe, coming out here and making a new life, trying to figure out something new, trying to get some land, trying to get whatever you needed that you couldn't find anywhere else. So when these towns started popping up, they'd build a church. And then here we have a good example of this kind of multifunctional building that they had. This was a movie house. This was a undertaker's parlor. It was a grocery store. And now today it is a private residence. So here you can see, this is it. It's pretty incredible that people would basically leave everything they know, come to the American West, live like cowboys. This is 1922, in the heart of the cowboy era. Did a revolver get a horse and uh, make the world yours. It's quite incredible. You've got your traditional American West kind of main street here. So we've got kind of like, this is where your grocer would be. This is where your place, like your restaurant would be. This is where you would get the post or something. Here we've got a little bar. And this literally is it. The sign behind me is actually saying that Cerrillos used to be the capital of New Mexico in the early 1800s when people would come from the West to search for gold and silver, kind of in the pre-gold rush. There were also a lot of Native Americans here uh, pulling turquoise out of the ground. So obviously people find that quite appealing and they wanted to have that turquoise for themselves as well. Very interesting. And in such a small town, you have a railway she cuts all the way through, going north towards Santa Fe, south towards Albuquerque. Anytime I drive through rural New Mexico, I always think like what it was like for the people who lived here before technology. And what, what were those crazy conquistadors doing? walking around through thousands and thousands and thousands of miles of unknown territory when they literally thought that they were in India. It's absolutely crazy. Obviously the Native Americans who have been here know what's going on. They've been here for so long, but you know, you hop off a boat and you just walk. You're like, I'll hit the Pacific Ocean at some point. So absolutely crazy. But the classic vast landscape of the high desert of New Mexico. Now we're here in Madrid, which is a very hippie little town. It used to be a mining town, very much like Cerrillos, but now people come here to, uh, you know, experience life in the Old West, to go to one of the coolest old long bars that you can find in New Mexico, as well as see stuff from the movies Wild Hogs. Terrible movie, but it was filmed here, so people love it. Let's go check out Madrid.
New Mexico has quite the Mexican-American history, and many people coming from Mexico and settling this land used to be like these guys with the bandoleros, as you see here. Rural New Mexico is also known for Roswell, um, which is a apparent site of a UFO crash. Many people in New Mexico believe in aliens, and uh, you know what? I'm not against it. So Wild Hogs was a terrible movie about riding motorcycles, but this, this road that you find that comes from Albuquerque that goes to Santa Fe through the Bash Hills very much is known for the, uh, the Harley Davidson riders that still ride in groups and uh, enjoy the long bar of Madrid. All the tropes of the classic American kind of saloon ghost town, they really do exist in the United States. And if you ever wanna see them, you have to come to New Mexico. We need more tourists here. It's a good place. Skip the Grand Canyon and come to Madrid. You're gonna love it. In every old Western town, there used to be a boarding house, just like this one. A boarding house used to be very similar to a brothel. So you tie up your horse, you get off the, get off the, old, the old trail for a few days, you get yourself a, a girl, a room, a glass of whiskey. Um, kind of a staple of the American Southwest. guys that's it of the mining towns thanks for watching hope to catch you next time on tales from the road hasta luego